Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki LaRose. If you're new here, I'm a celebrity makeup artist based in Los Angeles. And for today's video, I wanna do a Hailey Bieber inspired makeup look. So let's get right into it. So the makeup look that I'm gonna recreate is this one right here. It's done by the incredibly talented Leah Darcy. She's a makeup artist in Los Angeles. Um, you should definitely check her out. She does Hailey Bieber a lot, I've noticed, just from like looking through her Hailey Bieber's Instagram. And it's, you know, it's funny because like Hailey Bieber always has like that clean girl look. She's always like very minimal, super natural makeup, just like really clean, gorgeous skin because she has incredible skin. But every once in a while, her makeup artist will do like a fun eye makeup look. And this one just totally stuck out to me. And it's actually been recreated a couple times on Instagram, I noticed. So anyway, let's get right into it. I'm going to recreate this look. I don't have the exact products that this makeup artist used. I have no idea what she used. So we're gonna work with what we got and see if we can get close to this look. To start my look, I already have my skin prepped. Sorry I skipped it, it's really hot in the studio and I just wanna get that done and over with, but my skin is prepped, so I'm gonna go into my foundation. I'm gonna use one of my favorites. It's the Luminous Silk from Armani. It's in the shade six. I might mix a little bit of a darker one with this, depending on how this turns out. My tones have been fluctuating a little bit because it's summer and I've been going to the beach and I've been kind of out and about. So I have more color to my skin right now. So I'm gonna take a little bit of 6.25 and adjust the color. So foundation first. And as you can see, I have my brows on. And I actually have a new product that I, another new brow product that I'm using that I really like. And I'm gonna talk about it in an upcoming favorites video. But the reason why I like it is it's actually a, a brow like pomade. And as you know, it's summer right now as I'm filming and it's super hot. And it's really hot in our studio and it, my brows have stayed on like for hours at this point. Like I put them on to start filming for YouTube. We've been in the studio for quite a few hours now and it's very hot in here. And my brows have stayed put. I have not even had to powder them down. That's like unheard of for me. Also, I chose this foundation because this is like my holy grail for glowy, slightly more natural foundation. Like you can build this foundation up to be a full coverage but initially, when you're applying it, it's more of a light to medium coverage. And it just, it looks like skin, but like really healthy skin. It looks like healthy, glowy, like hydrated skin. So to me, it's like so perfect for a Hailey Bieber inspired makeup look because she has like that healthy, perfect and glowy skin always. So with whatever's left over on my foundation brush, I'm just going to swipe it and kind of tap it over my eyelid. I'm actually not gonna use an eyeshadow base for this look because the eye makeup, you'll notice the eye makeup is done. Like it's, she definitely has like eyeshadow on, but it's not like overly done. It has like, you can see like some skin peeking through, which I really like, I think it's really pretty. And it's very much like a, a Hailey Bieber type thing. Like she does, she never has like, even when she has like a, a more fun makeup look on, it's never like overly done, which I really appreciate. And I think it's so beautiful. So that's why I'm not gonna do an eyeshadow base because it would add too much thickness to my eyelid. Also, I forgot to mention, this is a BK Beauty brush. It's the 106 brush. I love this size brush for foundation, but I also, I love it for um, cream bronzer and for cream blush. So I'll actually be using this again for my cream blush. I'm just gonna hit a little bit of my neck. All right, our skin is even, foundation's done. And now we're gonna move on to concealer. I'll be using the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. This is in the shade 2N. It's a little bit light, but I, I kind of like that because I want to like brighten my under eye. And this one's mine, so I'm going to directly apply this to my under eye. And do a little down the bridge of my nose. Top of my chin. And get the center of my forehead. And I'm going to lightly tap it in with my e.l.f. camo sponge. I love the sponge. And I say I'm going to lightly tap it in because I want to let it dry down just a touch. So that way I, I maintain like the maximum amount of coverage, especially for this concealer. This concealer is not like, it's not the most, even though it looks like it right now, I'm sure, it's not the most full coverage concealer. And I love, I love coverage under my eye. So I'm going to kind of tap it in and I'm gonna leave it like this side, like this. And I'm gonna let it dry down just a touch before I give it like its final blend and I set it. If 
Okay, so we're gonna let that hang out for a second and I'm gonna move on to uh, cream bronzer. And I have been loving, loving this one for Makeup by Mario. It's a, it's a new product that he just launched. It's the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I'll never remember this name. I've had to say it like a thousand times in my head and I still don't remember it, but it's in the shade Medium Dark. I'm shocked that my Sephora had this in stock because I went to a Sephora in LA I live a little bit outside of LA, but I went to Sephora, like a really popular Sephora in LA, like after work. And I, it was right after these launched. And I thought, okay, there's no way they're gonna be sold out yet. Like for sure, like I'll be able to pick up a couple of colors of these. They were all gone. Like every single one, except for like the very lightest shade, which I think is too light, <laughs> was still there. So it took me, uh, so it took me a minute to finally pick this bronzer up. I'm so happy I finally got it. So I'm gonna use a buffing brush from Real Techniques. It's a 204 brush. This comes in a set, FYI, in case you're looking for it individually, it's in a set only. So the reason why I like this, it's very sheer. It's incredibly easy to blend. Like, to be honest, I don't even feel like I have to blend it. It just kind of like, I, I tap it on and it's blended, it's done. So it's, it's like very, very foolproof. And another reason why I like it is the finish. The finish is like glowy, but not in a glittery way. It's like, it gives you this beautiful, illuminated, I don't know, it's it's really unique. The finish is stunning. And like I said, it gives you like a beautiful, beautiful glow. And it really does like enhance your skin. I think it's perfect for a Hailey Bieber inspired makeup look. Cause like I said, she always has like that flawless, but natural and glowy skin. So I'm gonna give my forehead a generous amount and give it more of like a sun-kissed look. She definitely has like some warmth going on in that photo. Like she's got some bronzer for sure on. I'm, I'm guaranteeing it's a cream bronzer. And I'm gonna do a little bit on my cheeks. Then I'm gonna keep it high up because I'm gonna try my best to get that Hailey Bieber like sculpted, incredible cheekbone look. And I'm going to switch over to another Real Techniques brush. Um, this is a 308 brush. It's the medium shadow brush. And I'm going to dip into that same bronzer. I'm going to start to just shade my nose. And I'm going to take a little more the same brush. and just lightly contour under my brow. And a little more just under my lip. Okay, now we're gonna go back to our e.l.f. camo sponge I'm going to blend out my under eye concealer a little bit more. Now let's add a little more cream bronzer. Okay, so now I am going to set my under eye just a little bit. And I'm gonna be using the Kosas Cloud Set Powder in the shade Breezy. I'm gonna flip my um, elf sponge to the clean end. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that powder and I'm just going to very lightly set my under eye. I'm a little on the highlighted areas of my face. So in between my brows, and I will say like this powder is great if you want to maintain that luminous look to your skin. So one reason why I'm, I'm loving this powder, whenever I'm doing like a complexion or I'm working with a client that has like drier skin and doesn't like that powder feel, 
So this powder does not feel like hardly anything on your skin. Like it feels really lightweight and it doesn't like totally dull you out, take away all the shine and like glow to your skin, but it will set your makeup in place. So if you want like the best of both worlds, this is kind of like the powder to, to use for that. So I'm gonna pull this picture one more time and look at her blush because I feel like I have something that's similar, but so I'm gonna use a little bit of both of these colors. This is the Jouer Blush and Bloom Celebrate Cheek and Lip Duo. I'm gonna start with Promise Me, which is like a really light pinky rose. So I'm gonna actually apply this to the top of my hand first. So like with most of my cream products, I like to like warm it up on the top of my hand first and not just directly apply it. Cause if I just, I talk about this all the time, but if I just directly like swipe it onto my cheek, even if you're careful, it will end up taking some of your makeup off with it. So I wanna avoid that. So I'm gonna apply it with a 108 brush from BK Beauty. And I'm gonna start to work that color into my brush. Yeah, I feel like this is a good blush choice. And she has it really high up. It's, it's definitely like, it's high up. It's up towards her temple. So I'm actually gonna take a little bit more and get it really high up. I'm like really bring it like around my temple. So I don't wanna go anywhere past like where my top lip is basically. I don't wanna go below my top lip. So I'm gonna use my top lip kind of as a guide. Cause like we all know Hailey Bieber's like very like, like sculpted and chiseled. I'm not very sculpted and chiseled. So I'm gonna try my best to get that same kind of look. Bring it around my temple again. I'm gonna sweep just a little bit across my forehead just for some additional healthy warmth. Now I'm gonna deepen it just a touch by using the other end of this um, duo in the shade Celebrate Me. It's like a little bit deeper in tone. Same brush, because I just feel like I'm missing a little bit of depth right now. That's better. And then just to add like a touch more glow to the top of my cheekbones, I'm gonna use one of my favorites. This is the Girlactic Skin Glow in Moonlight. And I'm probably gonna mix, I'm gonna mix both these shades. But I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna use too much. And let's use like a really small brush. This is a NYX or NYX uh, 16 brush. It's gonna dip, I'm gonna dip into both these. Kind of mix the two up. So I'm gonna place it first. And tap it in. Get the very top of the bridge of my nose. I love to highlight here. And with the tip of my nose, I'm gonna avoid the center so I don't look too overly glowy. Just a little bit blend it into my tear duct. Just for a really, really soft highlight. All right, now moving on to the eye makeup. I'm gonna go back to my Kosas powder and I'm going to just do a light wash on my eyelid. And now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna go in with our eyeshadows. I'll be using the BK Beauty True Beauty Palette. This palette is this palette was sent to me from the brand. They were they sent me a whole bunch of brushes. I love their brushes. I use them all the time, and I'm so grateful that they sent me so many of them. I, I love them. They sent me this palette, and it's just such a pretty palette. Like there's so many gorgeous shades in it, but this shade in particular, I think it's gonna be perfect for this look because her eyeshadow it's like very neutral. It's like a soft neutral, but it has it's like a hint, a hint on the cool side. Like it's not like a warm, from what I see in the photos. Anyway, I should say it's like, it looks to me like it's a little more cool. So I'm going to do this shade and it's a really simple, like eye makeup. Like she doesn't have like too many colors on her eyelid at all from what I can tell. So it's mainly like the blue liner on the bottom. That's like the star of the show. So it's going to be very simple. And I'm using a 217 from MAC. I forgot to mention that. So 
So I'm really just applying this on the base of my eye, on my eyelid, and I'm blending it into my crease. Like I said, it's not like an overly complicated eye makeup look, which I think is like what makes it so beautiful. It's just, it's simple, you know, like one shade. It looks like it's one shade all over. Who knows how many shades is on her eyelid. But from what I can see, it looks like it's one shade. So now I'm gonna just lightly, lightly blend it out just to like kind of widen my eye shape, make my eyes look bigger. I'm gonna build up the color just a little bit right in my crease, on the outer corner of my crease. She does have a little more depth, but it could just be like that the makeup artist layered the same shade and just darkened it in the outer corner. So now we're gonna do the brown wing liner. It looks like it's a, a, a dark, like rich brown liner. So I'm gonna start with, can you tell I like this pencil? It's Whiskey from Urban Decay. This is like one of my favorite pencils I, of all time. Like I've used this color and this formula. I love this formula for years, but Whiskey, I'm like a diehard fan of this shade in particular, it's so good. So I'm gonna start to do like a little baby wing and then we're gonna blend it out. Try to copy Haley's wing. Blending brush, this is the 226 Smudger from Zueva. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this dark brown shade from the same palette called Beauty, same brush. And then there's definitely like a little bit of a, sh a sharper line going on as well. So I'm gonna take the Roller Eyeliner from Benefit. This is in the, the dark brown shade. I love this dark brown. gently blend this edge out a little bit more. Our liner is complete. Before I finish, I'm going to tight line with the Makeup by Mario. That's another brown. It's the, it's called the Perfect Brown. I love this pencil. So now we're gonna move on to this side. Dip back into that dark brown shade. I'm gonna take a little bit of that same roller liner, just hit the inner portion of my eye. Moving on to mascara, I'll be using the MAC Stack Mascara. I'm a little on the fence about this mascara, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I like it, but I'm not like crazy about it yet. I'm not like wowed by it. Anyway, I'm, I'm using this one because her lashes are never overly done. She's not wearing false lashes. I mean, at least I cannot tell if she's wearing them or not. I really don't think she is. She just has like a very simple amount of mascara. It's not like spiky and overwhelming. So it doesn't like take away the simplicity of her makeup look, her eye makeup look. And I love that. I really appreciate that. So this mascara is actually kind of perfect because to me on, on myself, 
This mascara doesn't give me like a crazy amount of volume. It just, it coats my lashes, it defines them. It gives me some length, but it's not like overly dramatic, so. All right, so let's do the blue. So the blue is tricky. I don't have the exact blue. I don't even know what blue that makeup artist used. So we're gonna get as close to it as possible. And I was testing out this palette. This is a really fun palette. It's like, it's gigantic. It's the Nikki Tutorials Pressed Pigment Palette. It's like her collaboration with Beauty Bay. And it's super bright. It's really, really fun. But this is the palette. So I'm gonna mix uh, Amsterdam with Plot Twist these two blues right here. And we'll, we'll see if we can get pretty close to the Hailey Bieber blue. Um, I'm gonna dip into the tiniest bit of the Amsterdam blue first. This is a Monda Studio brush. The label is completely rubbed off. I've had this brush for years. I love this brush. Doing like a really, really light wash of this because this is a really dark blue. Her blue is like a mix between these two colors. So I'm trying to mix them together. I think we're getting there. I think this is actually getting pretty close, so I'm I'm happy with it. Okay, and then there's one more thing about that eye makeup look. It looks like there's a little bit of like a shimmer mixed into the bottom lash line. I don't have like a blue shimmer, so I'm gonna use something that I think will be close enough. This is from Make. It's their Continuum Waterproof Gel Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Interstellar. So it's basically like a like a metallic silver, but underneath, if you mix it with these blues, it's gonna end up looking blue. I'm basically pushing it into my lashes. This is what's gonna add like that dimension that you, she just has like some kind of like dim extra dimension going on in, in her blue. I lightly blend over it. So the last thing that I noticed is there's a little like glimmer of um, sparkle, like a little hint on her eyelid, like in the center. I'm gonna pick up the tiniest, tiniest bit of all in. pretty close. Like it's like a really fine like hint of shimmer. Before I wrap up this video and I do my lip, I'm going to just powder down a little bit more with the Makeup Forever HD Loose Powder. Tone down some areas that we don't want the glow. So along the side of my mouth, a little bit on my chin. Look, we want to be glowy, but we don't want to be like a disco ball. And now for the lip, I just purchased this and I really, really like it. It's the Refi Rosewood Lip Sculpt. So it's basically a lip liner and on the underneath, like on the bottom, it's like a lip sealer. So you, you basically like you fill your lips in with the lip liner and then you seal it with this like clear liquid and it doesn't move. Like it's like budge proof. So that was intriguing to me. So that, that's like the end of it where it's like the lip sealer. For this look, I wanted to try to find her favorite lip liner, which she loves the Makeup Forever lip liners. I love them too, but she's famous for loving the shade Anywhere Caffeine. I think that's what it's called, something caffeine. It's like a beautiful, like neutral, almost like a lip color, but better lip liner. It's sold out everywhere. I can't find it. It's like a fallen off the face of the earth. They need to like up their restock on that lip liner because it's like so in demand. All right, let's do some Hailey Bieber lips. So I just took a little bit of that sealer. I'm gonna dab it off my fingers. I don't wanna use that applicator. Let's just seal it in. And then I'm going to 
because I don't feel like this is the exact color that she has on because again, I don't know what she's wearing, but I'm going to try to get as close to it as possible. So I'm gonna take a little bit of, from BK Beauty, this is the Lipstick in Kindness. This is a really moisturizing formula. Like I mentioned, they sent me a whole bunch of lipsticks recently and they're all really, really pretty. So this one I feel like is it's similar to the Hailey Bieber lipstick, so. Let's cocktail it a little bit with the Jouer cream blush that we used earlier. So I'm just gonna take my fingertip, I'm gonna take a swirl of it. So this is the complete look. I just did my hair as best I could to look like Hailey Bieber's hairstyle in the picture. She had like those cute little braids and it went kind of south. Like I, I was not looking like Hailey Bieber. I was looking more like a member of the band Korn from the 90s, which is totally aging me, but I, it took me like back to the 90s and I, I looked like I was a member of the band Korn, but um, it's fine. It's it's okay, it's just because I have black hair, so I don't look like Hailey Bieber because I don't have light hair, but I just thought I'd like really go for it and really like embrace that whole look, including the hairstyle, so let me know what you guys think of this hairstyle as well. But this was a lot of fun. If you have any other celebrity makeup looks um, that you love, that you want to see me recreate, make sure you comment below and let me know what that look is so I can try to recreate it next time on my channel. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm at Makeup by Nicola Rose on all my platforms. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.